Hi, everybody. This is Eric Babru, and uh, my special guest today is Roderick Anderson, architect from Costa Rica. We're going to be talking about the Masters of Archicad training series and the course that uh, Roderick is going to be teaching called Archicad and BIMX Strategies to Optimize Design and Construction. How are you doing, Roderick? Very well, Eric. Very well. Thank you. So uh, you've been using Archicad for quite a while, and I know you have a design build firm, and you've been finding these technologies to be very helpful. Tell us a little bit about your background with with these tools, how long you've been working with them. Yeah, well, uh, basically, I believe I started using Archicad. Uh, I think my first version was 8.1. Uh, it's been, I think, over 10 years now. Uh, don't, don't keep a track of that, but I think it's easily over 10 years. Uh, and through the years, of course, we've evolved uh, and in our use of the tool and how we apply it and how to make the best of it. And I, I found that it's been the greatest choice that, that I made a long time back. Uh, and it has really leveraged the, the possibilities that, that we can do in our projects and how far we can take our projects to the next level. And, and, and at the end of the day, to make our lives easier. I mean, in, in, in my personal activity as a design build cons uh, firm, we have both arms. So we have the design uh, activity and we have the construction activity. And I'm personally involved in both of those I mean, uh, because of the type of projects that we do, which is high end residential. So it, it's been a great time saver at the end of the day. And, and it's been a great uh, uh, tool to just empower what, what we can do and, and how far we can sort of stretch our architectural and construction abilities. Well, um, I think you've pioneered or at least pushed the limits of Archicad with BIMX. Tell us a little bit about what you're going to be covering in the course that will benefit you know, Archicad users. What, what is it that's so special about BIMX, for example, that you found um, it to be, you know, change the way that you work? Well, since, since BIMX came out on, on Archicad 17, from the very first day when I saw the first videos from Graphisoft that, that were showing us about this new tool, immediately just clicked in my mind say, wow, this is definitely what I was hoping would exist sometime down the road. And it's just here now in, in the lap of my hand. And, and maybe because of my personal involvement in, in the construction activity, in doing site visits, the inspections, I immediately saw the, the power of just having the full project available in the palm of your hand as you're walking the site. And there's nothing like that. So, so of course, uh, that really changed the focus of how I thought about producing the output that we were producing with Archicad. Because I mean, up until that point, uh, as I'm sure many other users, I was still focusing on the actual printed sheet of paper instead of thinking about something more graphical, more uh, more digital. And of course, like everybody, we were producing PDF sheets and, and PDF versions of the drawings. But the drawings up to that point were always produced just thinking of the printed medium, not thinking of the digital medium as the main focus of it. And having BIMX it just changed everything completely. So of course, I immediately saw the benefits of the, the site visits. I saw the benefits of the project presentations with clients, just being able to walk a client through the, the model and in what seemed a little more natural that you can use with the explore function in Archicad, which was the previous way that it was doing it. But that way, I had, be, I had to be the one driving the car, let's say. Whereas with BIMX, it becomes interactive and I can let the client drive the car. And it just changes their focus completely, where, where they can sort of touch and feel themselves and feel their own way around a project. So it, it just has so many different uh, applications, both from uh, a design standpoint, a presentation tool, uh, a site visit tool. I even end up using it as a project reviewer at the end of the day, because I, I can produce hypermodels during our design development and our uh, construction drawings development phase, and I'll, and I'll have the staff just produce the hypermodels where I can just sit in my couch at home during the weekend and just browse through the sheets and start reviewing uh, I mean, what the progress we've made maybe in the, in, the, in the last week. Now, of course, I cannot use it as a reviewer tool. I cannot comment back yet. I think Graphisoft is working in that, in that direction 
uh, very heavily. But we're not there yet. But it's definitely going to be the next evolution of, of Mimix, as far as I understand. Now, you, you've um, figured out a few innovations in the way that uh, you work. Uh, I know part of it has to do with modeling in sufficient detail, even mechanical services, HVAC, et cetera, uh, that cutaways can be done uh, accurately anywhere in the model. Um, and looking at it from underneath and, and seeing how on these complex hillside projects that you do in Costa Rica, um, you know, just helping the construction team really understand early on what their the the masses and the, and the uh, elements that they're constructing will how they'll fit together. Um, what are some of the things that you ended up changing in in the way you approach? Working with Archicad, um, you know, just what are you going to be sharing that can save people a lot of effort and experimentation? Yeah, well, I mean, there, there's there's several topics uh, around that, and, and we'll cover that uh, during the course. But one, let's say, I mean, first of all, in the direction of um, telling the construction teams and supervisors, and, and and that let's say that arm of the activity, telling them in a very graphical way what they need to build. And what goes where? So that's that's an incredible tool. So before we weren't modeling in Archicad to a level of detail of saying, oh, this is a wood paneling of X type of wood, and it ends here, it stops here. We would just model something that looked like wood, and we wouldn't care that much as exactly the direction of the grain, let's say, uh, on 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 a surface on a wall or a paneling, for example paneling behind me here in my office, something of that sort. Now we do put that that effort and that attention to that level of detail so that we avoid those calls from the side saying, oh, where is the direction of the grain supposed to be? Well, look at the BIMX model. It's telling you the direction of the grain. And where is the travertine cladding supposed to start and where does it end? And where does the stucco start and where does it end? Look at the BIMX model. And, and we end up being so sometimes nagging to our own teams and just telling them, look at the model, look at the model, look at the model. So it's been a training because, of course, they, they're not Archicad users. They don't fully understand the power of the tool. They just see the final product. But it's it's been a, a learning process for them. But it's it, once, they, once they click and they start understanding what we can give them as information, then they, they fully understand the new philosophy. Uh, and that's a game changer for everybody. So it reduces the callbacks, it reduces the interruptions that I get at the office constantly, just because they have a way for them on their own to answer their own questions instead of just grabbing the phone and calling me all the time. <laughs> so that's that, that, that's a real plus, definitely. Uh, now the other stuff that that, that we've changed uh, and that I. I mean, I decided needed to be changed from the very first application that I did with BIMX, is, is that I mean, as soon as it came out on version 17, we were building a large house that it's now completed. And so I immediately said, oh, I need to transfer this Archicad 16 project into 17 because I want to create a hyper model and I want to see what this is. All right, sure, and we did that. But it was one of those projects where we had, up until that point, worked on just thinking of the drawing sheet and the ink on the paper. So at that point, when I saw this very large house that was a 16,000 square foot house, just all completely represented on a tiny screen of an iPad, I mean, I, and, and I don't use the iPad mini, I use the larger one, but still you, looking at that huge house and that screen, is, and then I started zooming in to be able to read my own drawing. Then I just saw a whole jungle of black lines all over the place. I, hey, wait a minute, this is unreadable. I don't even understand my own design. And of course, I know my own design, so I'm the best person to to uh, to know that. And I immediately put myself in the position of the person who didn't work on the design and needs to read that with complete clarity. So I started developing strategies of how to improve on that. Colors and, and application of color was definitely the, the direction I decided to go in. Maybe some other users may use some other mediums. Maybe it's more focused on line types. Maybe it's a combination of color and line type. I don't know. In my particular choice, it, it was uh, focusing on the use of color so that we 
uh, identify what type of element is it that we're reading. Is it a part of a model, or is it an annotation? Is it a dimension? Is what is it? So that was uh, the other thing that we we had to change a lot. That it made me rework my my Archigat template so that all of that was worked into the template from day one. But but it's been it it, it was the correct investment in time, and it just has gone a long way in that sort. Mm -hmm. So so now you have a methodology where the detailed model can be viewed, of course, in 3D, as we take for granted in ARCHICAD. Anyone who's you know up to a certain level is creating a you know, pretty nice looking model, but you take it up to the point where you can accurately cut anywhere in, in the model, but also that the hypermodel, the documents where you have the, um, the, the layout sheets, the drawings shown, they can be viewed not just anywhere because it includes all the sheets that you want, but you can zoom in and you can decipher them because you've got a color system that makes it very clear where what's physical, like the model, what's annotation, what's dimension, um, what are other markers and things. Uh, I've seen, seen your system and very clever, pretty easy to implement once you sort of learn, you know, an approach. And of course it can be customized, but um, so important to think maybe out of the box saying, all right, how do we actually use this medium and take advantage of its power and, you know, avoid being hampered by the limitation that it's a 9.7 inch screen. Um, yeah. So uh, I think uh, you've done some really clever implementation using the tools. So we're going to be doing this uh, course uh, starting um, just in a, a couple of weeks from today, two or three weeks from today. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, this video is going to be, uh, posted on my YouTube channel, uh, but this course will be recorded. We're going to be doing four sessions, I believe, um, and it'll be available for uh, anyone to watch later on uh, as part of the Masters of Archicad training series. Uh, I'm really excited. Roderick, you and I have worked together for quite a few years since you first got Archicad, um, and uh, you know it's yeah. been interesting to see your mastery develop to the point where, of course. Now you're teaching me, um, you know, some of uh, the potential of Archicad. Um, so it's really exciting to see that. Well, yeah, I, I, thank you for that. And it's actually funny because I was uh, talking with the um, with the Latin American distributors of Archicad uh, just a couple of weeks back, as I was a speaker at the Archicad 19 launch in Mexico City. And uh, I, I was telling them the story that I bought my very first Archicad license from you. And they were saying, like, you're going to be kidding me from Eric Bobro? Yes. So that, that's where I got started. And and I, I think it, I don't remember at this point. I think back then it was, of course, there was no distribution for Archicad in Costa Rica. And it was not a known software. And I decided that's the direction I want to go for. Then I had a family member that lived in California. You were the closest uh, uh, reseller at that time to where that family member lived. So that's where it all began. Right, right. Well, it's uh, great continuing the journey together, and I'm excited that we'll be able to bring um, to Archicad users your experience and your knowledge in working in design build, but beyond just working in design build, how to optimize the design process and the construction process using the same tools, you know, really um, getting multiple benefits out of these tools. Uh, the whole Masters of Archicad training series has been a wonderful experience for me because I've been seeing, you know, people who I've trained and people, you know, Andreas, I didn't train, but people who are just out in the field doing great work, doing masterful work, just sharing with the community. And it's and it's so exciting to see this knowledge now being made available. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, my, my own personal challenge is that Gary has definitely put a hard act to follow. So uh, I'm, I'm going to have to step it up notch somehow. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Well, as I recall, your presentation at the Masters of Archicad Summit was one of the most popular ones and, and really beautifully done. So I, I know during this training series that, that you're going to be bringing a lot of uh, a great uh, thinking and methodology as well as beautiful graphics. That's one of the things you, uh, you certainly impressed me um, with during the summit was uh, just the presentation was so classy. So. 
It's going to be good. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. It's going to be a good experience for all of us. So uh, thanks, Roderick. Um, and thank you all for watching and look forward to sharing this course, Archicad and BIMX Strategies to Optimize Design and Construction, part of the Masters of Archicad training series coming up soon.